Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Please join me. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you call Fabius to be a faithful pastor and servant of your people and to lay down his life in witness to your son. Grant that we, strengthened by his example and aided by his prayers, may in times of trial and persecution remain steadfast in faith and endurance for the sake of him who laid down his life for us all, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Esdras. I, Ezra, saw on Mount Zion a great multitude that I could not number, and they all were praising the Lord with songs. In their midst was a, man, a young man of great stature, taller than any of the others, and on the head of each of them he placed a crown, but he was more exalted than they, and I was spellbound. Then I asked an angel, Who are these, my Lord? He answered and said to me, these are they who have put off mortal clothing and have put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now they are being crowned and receive palms. Then I said to the angel, who is that young man who is placing crowns on them and putting palms in their hands? He answered and said to me, he is the son of God whom they confessed in the world. So I began to praise those who had stood valiantly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said to me, Go, tell my people how great and how many are the wonders of the Lord God that you have seen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please turn to page 782 for Psalm 126. We will read it together in its entirety. Page 782, Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Second reading is from Corinthians. I die every day. That is as certain, brothers and sisters, as my boasting of you, a boast that I make in Christ Jesus our Lord. If with merely human hopes I fought with wild animals at Ephesus, what would I have gained by it? If the dead are not raised, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we will die. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Come to a sober and right mind and sin no more, for some people have no knowledge of God. I say this to your shame, but someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? Fool, what you sow does not 
come to life unless it dies. It is sown a physical body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. Thus it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. But it is not the spiritual that is first, but the physical, and then the spiritual. The first man was from earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven. As was the man of dust, so are those who are of the dust. And as is the man of heaven, so are those who are of heaven. Just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we will also bear the image of the man of heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains, and those inside the city must leave it, and those out in the country must not enter it. For these are days of vengeance, as a fulfillment of what is written. Woe to those who are pregnant, and to those who are nursing infants in those days. For there will be great distress on the earth, and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and be taken away as captives among all nations, and Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. Today, we celebrate Fabian not the 50s and 60s American bandstand idol, like Alice reminded me. We celebrate Fabian, who is a bishop and martyr from Rome. Upon the death of Pope St. Antares in 236, a council was convened in Rome to elect his successor. In the outdoor arena was Fabian, a layman from another part of Italy. According to the historian Eusebius, a dove flew in the area and landed on Fabian's head. The people immediately interpreted this to be a sign of selection by the Holy Spirit and unanimously acclaimed Fabian their new pope. After he retired from his shock and the several sub subsequent liturgical rituals of Christian initiation and office, Pope Fabian served responsibly and faithfully for 15 years and was a pain in the side of Emperor Decius. He turned out to be an excellent leader. Pope Fabian organized the parochial parish structure of the Roman church that is in use to this day. He developed the customs and the rites of veneration of martyrs buried in the catacombs. Pope Fabian appointed, appointed scholars to record the lives of the martyrs so they would not be forgotten in future years. In later years, the Emperor Decius initiated a persecution of Christians. This was the first persecution to be waged throughout the entire empire instead of locally. Pope Fabian was captured and brutally executed. The courage which with he went to his death was an inspiration to thousands who followed him in martyrdom. His broken tombstone in the crypt of the popes in Rome still exists, and three words are still barely legible. Fabian, bishop, 
martyr. This stranger's ministry is the source of the church's greatest riches. Fabian's election and his talents encourage us to trust the power of God, who sometimes gives to the church its most valuable gifts and its most valued leaders on no stronger recommendation than the whimsy of a dove. Amen. Please join me for prayers of the people. We'll do form four on page 388. Form four, page 388. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant almighty God that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, to whom our needs are known before we ask. Help us to ask only what accords with your will and those good things which we dare not or in our blindness cannot ask. Grant us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all good by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And I'll also be with you. with you. Peace, everyone. Peace. Peace. Why? Are we have this morning uh, the joy of blessing a, a stall, shawl made by the uh, Richard Babcock Knitting Ministry of the parish. And this particular stall is for a member of that ministry, Nancy Ginder, uh, who has a son and he died. 
and this is our song of comfort and our prayer passed on to her. May God's grace be upon this knitted garment, warming, comforting, enfolding, and embracing. May this mantle be a safe haven, sacred place of security and well-being, sustaining and embracing in good times as well as difficult ones. May she who receives this item be cradled in hope, kept in joy, graced with peace and wrapped in love. Blessed may she be in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Walk in love, my friends, as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. Please be seated. Today, as you know, is the day of the inauguration of our new president. <clears throat> we celebrate every four years, sometimes heartily and sometimes reluctantly because it wasn't the person we voted for, but we do celebrate the passing of government from the hands of one set of servants to the hands of another. And that will happen this day, along with uh, the uh, inauguration of the very first female vice president, which is very exciting. <laughs> and um, so, as before we begin the Eucharistic prayer, I will offer this prayer for this particular day. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and in peace. On this day of inauguration, give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I hope it's warmer in Washington than it is here. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your heart. We lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, 
for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all your saints who have been the chosen vessels of your grace and the lights of the world in their generation. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. <clears throat> Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took a cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, a holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity constancy and peace and at the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom all this we ask through your son jesus christ by him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit all honor and glory is yours almighty father now and forever amen, amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God.
body of Christ and bring it back into you. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Let us pray together in thanks. <clears throat> Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of the body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Isn't this baby in an empty?